the Thunderdome Boxing Talk, Anthony here. Alright, let's all hold hands and rejoice at the fact that the WBC finally stepped up uh, and officially, officially ordered Sergey Kovalev as the mandatory to Adonis Stevenson, that title fight for it to happen, and that both sides have to come to an agreement by April 17th, or then it goes to, you know, um, an immediate purse bid hearing. So we, you know, we should see that fight uh, next, you know, which, uh, you know, uh, Stevenson has a fight with Bika as long as he wins that fight on April 4th. But the only problem here is that uh, Najib Mohammadi, <clears throat> Kovalev's mandatory, who he's, uh, who before this news came out, he was like that was his next uh, opponent. Um, Muhammad has already took step aside money twice. Uh, he was he's been the IBF number one contender, I believe, um, since before Kovalev Hopkins, and he took step aside money for that fight to happen and got a stay busy fight on the undercard of Kovalev Hopkins for a decent amount of money. And, uh, again, he did the same thing for this Pascal fight. Um, <clears throat> took step-aside money once again, and was also given a stay-busy fight on the undercard. And for decent money. Um, his people, though, Mohammadi's people, are saying that they're not gonna uh, take step-aside money again for a third time. Um, now that could be the just them kind of, you know, grandstanding and knowing, you know, how big of a fight this is with Kovalev Stevenson that, you know, I could see it being uh, likely he will take step aside money again. Uh, it's just his way of saying, I want more money this time, you know, more than usual and a stay busy fight for some more money with a good payday as well, you know, and uh, preferably, you know, televised. Uh, that way it could build, you know, some some buzz for the kovalev Mohammadi fight if Kovalev beats Stevenson, which I think he will. Uh, but let's, um, now, you know, <clears throat> please, Mohammadi, I understand you want your title shot and you deserve it. Uh, you really do, you know, but... Kovalev deserves a shot at Stevenson just a bit more. You know, he was promised this fight long before you were promised the fight with uh, Kovalev. You know, so look at it that way, bud. You know, please, let this fight come off. This is the only fight anyone wants to see at light heavyweight. Sergey Kovalev versus Adonis Stevenson. Okay, like, you know, we'd like to see Kovalev Muhammad, but after Stevenson. Okay, um, I'm sure they can work out something, you know, I, I don't see why they couldn't. Uh, they can put more money in front of Mohammadi than he's ever been paid before to step aside, and I'm sure that they would, because I know that's, you know, the fight the team Kovalev wants the most. Uh, it's the fight that Kovalev himself wants the most, Stevenson, you know, and if they somehow... If, if Stevenson is allowed to get out of their grasp at this time, who knows how long it would take uh, in order to get, you know, the WBC to force Stevenson into a fight with Kovalev again. You know, um, <clears throat> so that they really need to strike while the iron is hot uh, right now. You know, I... I'm pretty damn sure Mohammadi is going to take step aside money for the third time. Um, I mean, he is promoted under Duva, so he has a relationship with them guys, a good relationship. And I think they can come uh, to terms and work something out where both sides are satisfied. Uh, but, I mean, can you believe this? You know, um... They have to have an agreement by April 17th. That's so soon. You, you know what I mean? That means, like, we will get to see Kovalev and Stevenson in the summertime. You know, granted, probably the end of the summer, but still in the summertime. You know, 
Stevenson has his fight on April 4th. He'll take, you know, the rest of April off, probably May off. And then, you know, June, July, boom, see the fight in August. You know, that'd be perfect. You know, that could work out perfect. Um, they don't even have, you know, Mohammedy isn't even penciled in as a, you know, um, like with a tentative date or anything. Uh, so it's, I don't think there's no signed contracts between them, um, between Kovalev and Mohammedy. Uh, when I talked to Paxton, I asked if they had, like, any, you know, inside info on a date or anything like that, and he didn't, so I'm pretty sure, you know, that fight still hasn't been, you know, deemed official, even if it's just backroom and it hasn't been announced yet, even though that, that was going to be his next opponent, but once the WBC came out and announced that, you know, uh, Stevenson has to fight Kovalev, uh... I'm pretty sure that Mohammedy just went straight to the back burner, and this is all they're focused on right now. You know, the, the timing is uh, a little nuts, you know, considering, um, I mean, Kov Stevenson has to have this, like, hanging over his head going into this fight with Bika, um, and, the, like, he he's going to have to be negotiating now, with, uh, even though he won't be doing the negotiating, he'll just be training, but his people are going to be negotiating, and they'll still be coming back to him and giving him updates and everything, I would assume, you know, and then he fights on April 4th, and then, you know, less than two weeks later, um, he has to have an official, an, a contract, an official contract signed for another fight, um, or it goes to, uh, an immediate purse hearing, you know, purse bid hearing. Uh, so that's pretty crazy for him, but I don't really care about him anyway because he's ducked this fight long enough. You know, hey, it's, you know, he should have just taken the fight when you had the chance, you know, when you were still with HBO and you wouldn't be in this predicament. Um, but, you know, the, he said he wants the fight. Hopkins said that, that Stevenson promised him he would fight Kovalev, um, so now's his chance to, you know, hold his word, uh, because, you know, as we know, Kovalev's the man at light heavyweight, you know, Stevenson might hold that lineal belt, but does the lineal, uh, championship really mean anything when you won't defend it against, uh, anyone with a shot at beating you? In my eyes, in my opinion, no, it, it doesn't mean much. You know, it doesn't mean much at all. You know, so if if he was fighting, it would mean a lot if he was just fighting. You know, guys. I, I mean, Saki Obika is the toughest fight he's had since he left HBO. You know, uh, I mean, come on now, that's a rough tumble guy. But is it really all that tough of a fight? No. No, that's why he was picked. That's why Heyman brought him in, you know, to make sure to to secure Stevenson another victory, you know. But hey, he's gonna he better use this as a little tune up for Kovalev then, because uh, you know, finally the the fight we want looks like it should be here. Um, you know, something, a couple things I wanted to to read here. Um, uh, it remains to be seen if Muhammadi can be swayed otherwise one more time. Uh, of course, it would first require Stevenson and Kovalev coming to terms for a fight more than a year in the making. Now, the this this fight should come off without a a hitch if Mohammadi steps aside. Uh, the only problem is there's going to be a lot of arguing over who's A side, who's B side, who gets what, who gets this. I don't think, actually, I know Kovalev will go up to, you know, Montreal, Quebec and have this fight up there. So, you know, that's a bargaining chip right there that Stevenson is going to want and he'll get. Um,. Now, in terms of who walks out first, who walks out second, who gets top billing, all those things, Kovalev is the type of guy to where, you know, if if it's a make-or-break situation, 
like that he has to walk out first or the fight ain't happening. He's going to walk out first, you know, because he knows once he beats uh, Stevenson, everything's done. You know, there's he never has to deal with it ever again, uh, unless he loses, of course. But if he gets past Stevenson, he's got a clear open lane for the next couple of years. There's only a couple guys on the come up who look like they might be able to pose a, a threat to him. And, you know, those fights ain't going to happen in 2015, probably not even 2016. Uh, so he got a good couple year run ahead of him um, with just, you know, practicing his technique and getting better and better. Um, and he is getting better and better with every fight. You know, uh, people should want to fight him now because I would not want to see Kovalev uh, in the end of 2016. The guy's going to be uh, he's a monster now. He's going to be such uh, a monster by then. You know, he is just constantly developing new things. Uh, like with uh, some people criticize um, how he'll s jump right back. You know, put his arms up and just go back in the straight line. And he's, he's fast enough to get away with it with the guys he's been facing. But if someone who is, you know, younger and explosive... Uh, could throw combination punches, they might be able to, you know, take advantage of that. So I'm sure that's one of the things they will work on. Um, <clears throat> and then whenever they finally do run into that young, explosive guy, that opportunity ain't going to be there. You know, that time will have passed. Um, you know, and that's why, guys, he's only going to get better. Uh, it's, it's scary. You know, it really is. Um, let's just hope this fight can be made <clears throat> between Kovalev and Stevenson. Uh, you know, April 17th is just right around the corner now. Uh, and, and we might have, you know, confirmation by then. Uh, if not, it'll be a purse bid, you know, and Heyman will probably go for broke and throw out some outrageous purse bid just so, uh, you know, he's in control of everything. Which, I don't really think it even matters because, you know, Kovalev isn't that guy where he needs to be pampered or he needs to have everything his way. Um, you know, he's a road warrior. The guy will fight anywhere, anytime, anybody. Um, so that A-side, B-side shit doesn't matter with Kovalev. You know, he can be the B-side. Even though the fans know he is the A-side, he don't care because he just wants to fight. He wants to whoop your ass, take your title, and become unified lineal champion. All right, that's his whole goal. And I think uh, if he gets Stevenson in the ring, he's going to accomplish that goal. You know, uh, so let me know. Let me know what you guys think about this development, uh, the fight. You know, Muhammad taking step aside money for the third time. Whatever. You know, uh, just give me your thoughts and opinions. All right, Thunderdome Boxing Talk. Stay safe till next time, and peace.